Uh, sure, I will start a little bit giving introduction. I'm a little bit worried because well, a lot of uh, people, uh, professors, and I really uh, appreciate your time and uh, looking into, I mean, considering this project actually. And I'm a little bit worried because whatever you will feed, give feedback is very important for us as a students. We really work hard during this trimester. It was my first year in, in IT, I mean, in US, and uh, I remember like first first trimester how I joined and how I came through my final it was really a wonderful experience for me ups and downs I was trying to catch whatever is possible in this area because I came completely from different background and even now I'm still I think I need to learn a lot so basically but what I understood uh, like um, why we have chosen this topic especially it's about beauty and about social media like why social media marketing is taking over traditional marketing in the beauty industry actually we, spoke, we are speaking about beauty industry it must be it might be any other industry but but basically we would like to talk about the importance of uh social media marketing nowadays like uh, there are so many platforms that are taking over of uh, compared to uh, all traditional way yeah, of, of of marketing so like uh, there are so many platforms that we will be covering today but we will try to finish it as soon as possible and we have done some research on data and like uh, we gathered some data uh, from different websites and uh, we also like we will be giving the final uh, like uh, written document in word but this is just uh, the slides that we will be talking about uh, maybe Sumanjali can share this data about uh, yeah, actually, if you could go back to the previous slide, I had a slight point to make. Uh, we decided to focus mainly on the beauty industry, one, because the three of us are girls, and because the social media marketing sort of started off in the beauty industry. It's had the biggest effect in the, in the traditional areas of the beauty industry versus other industries that has been um, changes with with social media marketing but the biggest impact has been on the beauty industry and the next slide um, overall though if we go there's been a decreased effectivity in traditional marketing with the onset of digital marketing in the recent decade we've been seeing a lot of decrease in the traditional forms that um, traditional marketing uses um, to advertise, print media, newspapers, uh, television. These were all previously important avenues for traditional marketing and they are slowly disappearing. These traditional avenues then turn to online avenues such as online newspapers, online magazines, and online streaming. But the problem is the ad revenue is just not enough uh, for these businesses, the ad revenue for some businesses is not enough and it's nowhere near their old um, nut figures. And so we've really been seeing a boom in digital marketing, um, search engine marketing and content marketing and social media marketing. Content marketing and social media marketing, you'll see in the slides that come on, we tend to use them uh, to mean the same they tend to go in hand with one another. Social media marketing, usually uh, the most effective type of marketing is content media marketing. And email marketing is popular in the beauty industry. It's important, but it's not good for um, capturing new markets. Um, email marketing tends to be effective in loyal, uh, loyal customers. And so one of the uh, big bonuses of social media marketing is in how it's able to capture new markets, especially overseas markets. It's one of the easiest, uh, simplest and cheapest methods uh, of capturing a new market. And email marketing, as good as it is, it's just good for retaining current customers. And so like I, we've said so far, <laughs> uh, the one kind of marketing that's really succeeding in the beauty industry is social media marketing. And when we talk about social media marketing, we consider it to be a type of marketing that uses social media platforms to advertise products, services, or concepts. And in our case, it's going to be mainly be products. 
the reason why social media marketing is becoming such a success is because it has easy accessibility. People like the newness of social media marketing, like any, it's like a trend in a way. And it's more visual, it's more, it's so much more interactive with customers. Customers feel like they're getting, um, some customers feel like it's a personal attention and it has a younger customer base. It's a lower cost. And one of the most key things that customers like is the communication of social media marketing. They feel closer with a brand. They feel like a brand is communicating with them so much more in a social media marketing. Basically, as uh, Sumanjali said uh, about the uh, like prices and the uh, advan advantages of uh, having like using social media marketing rather than traditional or through TV or newspaper. So basically, uh, it's about I did not go into deep about this, but uh, it's just from one website I've been uh, like looking into a, a couple of websites about the prices, how much. Uh, let's say like uh, advertisement on Facebook, yeah? how many seconds, how many minutes, how much they're being charged. But so far compared to uh, traditional ways or through mail or other, it's more, more cheaper. And also I believe uh, like what I understood based on our, um, our research is uh, that the more you try to advertise or like uh, to, through some uh, platform and the lesser the cost will be. So. Uh, it's definitely it's uh, more uh, like uh, good for environment. <laughs> there will there will not be any uh, papers and good for the environment, good for everyone. Uh, definitely, I believe uh, when the technology is moving, we have to move uh, also uh, along with it because so many companies they they were very successful, but uh, later on uh, they lost the business because they didn't want to shift to whatever is going on and happening. And as mentioned, as you mentioned here, it's um, uh, people like changes, yeah? It's different way. And definitely as a human being, we like changes. We, it is interesting for us some way, like, but definitely if there is something new, it will definitely, uh, t uh, we pay more attention and uh, something uh, new to try. And it's more interesting uh, in, in, in basic sentence. So. Uh, it's also it's uh, it's easy to uh, build a brand like names. Uh, if we go to social media right now, like there's so many ad advertisement, they keep coming. Even if you try to skip them, you have, we have to watch them for a couple of seconds. It's kind of it's more easier than before. Like if we uh, give uh, take an example through newspaper or TV, it was very hard. But nowadays it became more easier. And as Sumanjali mentioned, one way of dealing uh, like uh, why it's becoming successful because these influencers or let's say the people who are using uh, so this kind of advertisement, it's more they're building the trust to, to with their uh, to like um, through their website or let's say like direct direct communication to, to their customers. So that is how it, it's becoming more successful. So they can even go live, yeah? They can uh, communicate with their customers. They can just answer the question. It's it's more efficient rather than uh, like uh, how it, it was before, like newspapers and other way, like previously. Uh, well, we were, as we were talking about the platforms, uh, we were uh, looking and how social media came into existence. Yeah, there were previously um, before Facebook, there was another platform. Uh, it was not successful. I think it, I did not include it here, but may, uh, uh, mostly right now, Facebook is on the top of uh, uh, all other platforms, and uh, then YouTube, Facebook came. On, uh, on, on 2008, yeah, and now they have really high number of uh, users. And uh, here it's a graph that uh, we uh, pull out from the website. It shows like based on age, how many users, like uh, how many percentage users based on age. In uh, It's only in US, we didn't go to like globally. So basically right now, uh, my personal opinion why Facebook is so much more customer rather than TikTok or let's say YouTube, because first of all, uh, it, it came into existence in 2008, but uh, like um, it has more option even uh, every month they are really updating their um, 
there are options like putting a video like uh, all everything is like you can edit uh, videos which you post uh, with music uh, there's so many 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 options and their IT team is really working good so uh, if you look at their existence like uh, people who join Facebook they, they, they are still with them like TikTok and WhatsApp these kind of platforms came later on and that's why it doesn't have high number like uh, if we are like um, the people who are born uh, in, uh, after two, 2000, yeah, the Z generation, this generation, they mostly concentrate on TikTok and other uh, platforms which are new. But Facebook, since it was been in, in the market since 2008, and definitely they are really, really being uh, creative in terms of uh, like uh, attract their customers with their different, different way of options and so and so. Uh, well, here, as I mentioned, Facebook is number one. Not, uh, right now, 2.4 billion people are using it. And uh, then goes YouTube. Actually, the history of YouTube was completely different right now. It's, uh, we know that uh, it's only we post videos, but uh, the users came just to, you know, uh, make it as Facebook or something like uh, to, for people to find their partners or dating app. But now it came something different and instagram so um these are the three t three top but TikTok we did not include because uh, it goes after instagram and we don't know how the market uh like some countries are already banning TikTok right now like india for example yeah we don't know how other countries will do uh like and how their business will go it's uh, not that long as facebook and other platforms Okay, so uh, it, this is just the stat, the statistics on how how many hours people daily use these uh, platforms, and um, like uh, just exam example that it's one year, seven months approximately out of our life we are on social media and targeted advertising. To Manjali, uh, targeted advertising. It's the social media targeting. Uh, so basically we were for a while looking into how these social media platforms attract and generate uh, further, I call it clients for already popular users or content makers, all popular content makers. So it's, you have to take into like the number of users these platforms have how popular they are how much time people are spending and then on top of that they have targeted advertising so it's very very simple for a new upcoming um, business to use social media uh, marketing and promote their products like there's so many factors that are already in their favor these uh, social media platforms are just waiting for businesses to come in and advertise yeah i just want to add that uh when i i i when i was reading about how they target uh, like their um their advertisement or something like recently i i read a research about that tiktok is is getting our personal information when you uh, uh download the app but i i think this google facebook all this when you try to look for something they they based on our like uh, uh i don't know they have a machine or software something that they can read our our uh whatever we are looking for and they target based on that sentence which we are looking for and they keep sending us advertisements and uh sure so we will skip some part that uh basically our um, like uh, um, we don't have much good handover about this uh, statistics so we will go to about the during covid how uh, what is going on right now and definitely like uh, social people will be more at home they will be using uh, technology and internet and social media more than normal uh, as based on the number of users Facebook is still going up and up but what about the production is it going well like how uh, are we selling the same uh, number of um, uh, products? Uh, definitely it will be the answer will be no, but it will be better after when the COVID goes away uh, because people are not doing makeup, people are not going outside. So everyone is working from home. Uh, the, in simple way, simple sentence that yes. 
as yeah. previous recessions have shown, the beauty market is always the market that bounces back the fastest mm -hmm. in a time of recession. And it's also one of the more healthier markets during a recession. People don't stop spending, really. Uh, we don't have those figures in these slides. They are on the paper, but uh, we have seen evidence that the beauty market more or less, especially the online beauty market, tends to still stay healthy. And there, there, there's no extra expenditure, but the expenditure in the online market stays the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we previously said, um, communication is the biggest thing for these social media platforms and these marketers. Communication, of course, is important also in traditional marketing, but the social media platforms and these marketers have taken communication to a whole new level. They've made the communication feel personal. And that's why they're so successful, like these, um, like these business people here, um, Jeffree Star and Huda Katan. They basically had very little education in the field they were working in, but their best skill was communication. They were able to make their customers feel involved in their personal lives. They made the customers feel like it was a one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. And so that's why they succeeded and they were able to start their own brands and businesses. Uh, sure. So, uh, well, our idea, uh, um, our project, like what we would like to work on, uh, it was very nice question from uh, Professor Mamun, like how we can improve the business, like in terms of, like how can we bring some changes, yeah, for ITU. This was really good um, brainstorm for us. Basically, um, what I, I what I see our ITU, I mean the university, how I see most of them are master degree programs, yeah. Uh, and in, in terms of uh, how we can uh, bring something different, especially like different market or local students, mostly maybe we can bring some new programs, which uh, right now we are offering mostly in uh, computer science or MBA. Uh, so uh, maybe we can start some other uh, degree or maybe programs or uh, nugget courses or something that uh, we can advertise and see how it's gonna uh, go and this is just uh, our idea of course it, it depends on the faculty members and how you you definitely have better experience and understanding and WASC requirements and uh, other areas that you will be thinking of. So, uh, um, well, maybe we can offer something uh, like um, social media marketing for beauty industry class in MBA in arts or social media marketing class in MBA. Something like a certificate makeup training by influencers or degree from ITU. Basically, I was trying to uh, contact uh, this uh, Huda uh, to ask her how if she it's possible for her to come to ITU or give the open uh, like if how much does she charge yeah like how much can can we make any revenue in case if we have some such uh, openings like let's say a one day full day or two day something she can come talk about her success uh, how she became successful and how how uh, some course that can uh, really be interesting for students like uh, how to become successful on social media or just to give some makeup tutorials because we want to have something that what ITU is not offering right now yeah? but we are still waiting their marketing and uh, team uh, she uh, Michelle I forgot her name she she said she she did not get back to me yet I'm still waiting for her answer but we give approximately the prices that uh, we can like offer yeah uh, so we were pro thinking of several different forms of educational courses, one of which is a Nugget course. And so because Nugget courses are typically five hours, we were thinking five different speakers and each speaker gets one hour and we would invite them to discuss their marketing techniques. And so they could explain to the students how they transitioned from just being a beauty blogger to creating their own brands and businesses and how how they market that and so there are two possible methods of payment for these nugget courses we i would either if we can't get the speaker for free um pay each speaker a flat fee of 280 dollars for one hour or vary payments to the speaker depending on the speaker's popularity 
Sure, this is some little bit research about another uh, accredited college which they offer only this uh, makeup classes and beauty related stuff. Uh, it's not a degree, it's just uh, to, you know, to, to get a certificate to open salon, let's say, or something like for their own. Someone, some people want to uh, de develop, like uh, uh, expand their skills in, in this area. So why I gave this example is just you can see the prices and in case if we can make something better than this, that it will be really good for 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 this area. Uh, right now we offer the mostly MBA and uh, like uh, fields that they are good for high tech companies nearby. Yes, that is true. But in terms of uh, like uh, bringing new, uh, let's say local or even from another city. Uh, people here we should have something different and mostly uh, like uh, knowing friends here in US like uh, people who are applying for MBA it is costly like they have to make money and work and get of, of course after completing four years of bachelor degree uh, 60,000 or 100,000 dollars they cannot afford to go for masters they have to have little bit gap so I think if we concentrate on uh, having like something mixed of it bachelor plus plus masters that i'm not sure if if this number of credits is okay because i don't know if 87 will be enough or sufficient as per what requirement or do we need to add or more i give this approximate the prices in case if we have bachelor plus plus master degree total if we offered uh, 87 credit hours Hours one credit hour for international is 800 and one credit hour for local 600 why 800 and right now our credit hours are different is because in case if we offer something combination bachelor degree for example it, it depends on which kind of uh, degree we would like to share is it related to art is it related to makeup apart from technology and all the fees which we're charging we should have uh, like something like set up something different like uh, brushes makeups and all these concealers all these things is cost extra cost and approximate uh, I will be looking into it in case if this is the right area to go I will be looking the companies that if we purchase in uh, like uh, products directly from, from them how much will be um, uh, like approximate will hundred dollar be covered enough for like you know buying re uh, required tools for students to learn that uh, thing like or we do we need to uh, uh, exclude this hundred dollar and let them buy on their own or how things will go so a bachelor degree and master degree uh, the program something it's not something related especially to makeup something that uh, right now really like i i i feel like technology people who are who are these influencers and people who are doing social media marketing they are becoming successful and known so maybe we can have something like this program degree that can allow us to uh, also concentrate on arts plus something re regarding to masters like let's say in case if we finish like our four plus uh, one or let's say just bachelor degree will allow us to have the skills to start something on our own or at least the techniques that will be helpful to us it's not easy we should have some money but as we discussed according to social media we should not have much experience if we know how to we can create our own start like build start building our business and we don't have to have a much funding to open something on our own so um and also in case if we can have some program that influencers can come like two day uh like tutorial makeup tutorial uh not nuggets like something that they can come and show in person how will it be done definitely it cannot be done to 2020 because of the current situation i'm sorry and this is a approximate fee so it will be certificate for two days this is approximate fee and yeah and how this is the event they will go we will have uh, set, set settings like so basically this is the fans uh, uh, idea but it's similar to mine that's something like we, basically this is our idea the project is like what can we uh, offer something that can be helpful like in terms of business or not only one degree there are 
uh, not uh, double degrees, but something that can be different, like some other option that can be interesting for different markets than, than what we have right now. We have a lot of international students right now who are mostly in high tech companies. But what if we have something completely different and we'll, if like, uh, if it's there a proper advertisement and in, 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 in proper, of course, we have to find source, we can, we can make some changes. This is our belief. Hey guys, uh, I think I think this is good introduction. I know we just finished the midterm and we have still to write the report and do more work and uh, f have a final presentation coming. Normally in a final presentation, we'll, we'll, we will get uh, some people who can sponsor, uh, you know, startups or... Because if ITU got to be known for this, you get connection with other companies, other things, like everybody said. So I'm very, very excited. I want to tell, uh, I want to tell the, the, the team here, uh, the idea is get something in you, finish 5%, 10% of a good idea, fresh idea, better than to keep repeating your projects. It's so easy for students to repeat a project they did in another class, in another degree. We wanted the, the, something that's uh, fresh, even if it's not complete. So this is way away, uh, this is amazing in given four months, but I think they took risk, the team, taking something they never did. I, I'm so happy you tried to reach uh, those uh, no, well-known uh, celebrities online. Don't feel, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, those celebrities, we shouldn't reach them. Uh, we had many, many events with our non-profit. We should be able to pull one or two people to come to the university and promote promote non-profit they they will benefit especially during the uh, the covid so uh, i really encourage you to continue on this and we will explore this not nothing wrong with taking risks um, as far as i know so uh, from uh, from the leadership uh, yao and uh, and the team dr amal and uh, uh, dr wigan and the others from east department so thank you so much uh, for attending, guys. I'm very, very sorry it was a short notice, but I thought this is a good start for us to head somewhere where other colleges are not going. Thank you. That's really very good. That's very good. Thank, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very, really for inviting me as well. Thank you. Yeah. Have thank a nice you. day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.